First Alert Weather Forecast with meteorologist Jeff DeNoyer. All right, Jeff DeNoyer, it is beautiful out there. I know when I first went on my break, it was still a little bit cloudy, a little bit cool. As soon as I left my house, maybe about 45 minutes later, it was beautiful. Yes, Perfect. it's all coming together like I plotted this <laughs> morning. Yes, a little sunshine and it worked out well and yes. does the body good outside. If you're going to be out this afternoon, that's what you have in Athens right there. And it turned out to be a really nice late morning and early afternoon. Temperatures are warming up into the 60s few locations have already nudged 70 and it's turned out to be a really terrific Thursday after what was really not a bad afternoon yesterday. We put them back to back for you. Lots of sunshine. You know, Aville underneath my name there, it says cloud cover, but I just talked to Lucia on social media and she lives in Aville and she said it's sunny and she's having her chicken salad lunch outside right now and enjoying the sunshine. So I, I'm going to turn that into a sunshine right now. 66 degrees in Albertville. Satellite and radar generally sunny look at all this it's like it's like almost like we put up an invisible wall and said clouds go all around us today and we get sunshine and that's what we have out there now now the rainfall is not too far away it's in memphis and that rain extends all the way back to the west right and even though the rain is all the way in memphis this next system is going to get its energy believe it or not from southern california and kind of push everything along and what that means for you at home is that it means it brings the chances of rain up as we go into Friday. So after a nice afternoon, clouds come back tonight, you wake up with some fog. And though there's some rain in the forecast, probably not a big impact for Friday morning, more towards the afternoon and evening. And we have a first alert for the combination of breezy conditions and heavy rain. And there's a chance to hear some rumbles of thunder that will continue Friday night and then out of here real early on Saturday. Cloudy for the afternoon, pop some sun on Sunday. You're a little sleepy. You lost an hour of sleep because we turned the clocks ahead one hour. But that sunset Sunday night will be right before 7 p.m. As you extend the daylight a little deeper into the evening, but you lose a little off the morning sunrise. Hour by hour forecast. Clouds will win back tonight, and there they are. There's a few little spotty sprinkles and showers. Could be some drizzle and mist in the morning. But big picture is the rain doesn't get here until about almost noon. And that's when it becomes heavy at times for areas to the west. That rain will continue to fill in through the Tennessee Valley into the afternoon hours. At this point, it's just rain. Might pop a few rumbles of thunder during the evening hours for areas east. But by about midnight, besides some showers hanging on for areas along I-59, most of the rain is moving on out. Now, what makes Saturday a tricky forecast, see these little, little green dots, right? little spotty isolated showers and thunderstorms. They'll stay in the forecast through about noon. Very hit or miss and isolated. It's more just about how much sun we can get into Saturday. And I think that will be very little because clouds will win out. Temperatures will be mild, so rainfall for the weekend. And it's going to produce about one to maybe an inch and a half of rain. Flood watches for areas to our south where some of the highest rain totals, upwards of four to maybe six inches of rain could fall in central and southern Alabama. Just a little too far south for us to get a true soaking but still decent rainfall. There's that weekend forecast and let's keep the sunshine going for next week and keep the temperatures in the 60s for your daytime highs. All right, thank you, Jeff. Well